Hi, this is Chen, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to light up a one-digit and seven-segment common cathode LED by using a shift register called NXP74HC595N. The first thing is to look at the LED we used. Apparently, there are eight dials inside this LED module, and each dial controls one segment from A to G as well as the decimal point. In order to display a number, we just need to light up some particular combinations of these segments. In this project, I use a common cathode LED as is shown on the left side. All the dials have a common cathode, and I suggest you to check what kind of LED you have before you go through the project. Let's say if you want to display a digital number, for example 1, then only segment B and C should be eliminated. This can be done by applying high voltage onto pin 6 and 4 of the LED and apply zero or low voltage on the rest of the pins. Pretty straightforward. And if you have an Arduino Uno by your side, you can wear up like this. Using the digital pins, apply high or low voltage. Then you can light up a single segment or their combinations. However, the disadvantage is that so many digital pins are occupied. I mean, in your project, you may also want to add another sensor onto your Uno. So one of the solutions is to using an IC called Shift Register. Here is a functional diagram of the Shift Register that I used in this project, and it is the NXP74HC595N. It is also called a 8-bit serial in, serial or parallel out shift register. In other words, you can use it to control 8 outputs at a time while only taking a few pins of your microcontroller. So how does it work? Well, there is an 8-bit shift register inside a 595 that can save data from the DS pin. The 595 will get data from the DS pin only at the rising edge of the shift register clock pin and store the data in a position, let's call it D1, for example. Every time when new data comes in, it will be put into D1, and the previous data will be shifted to D2. After all the 8 bits have been saved in the shift register, we need to make a rising edge of the storage register clock pin, aka the launch pin. By doing this, we actually copy the data from the shift register to the storage register. Finally, ground OE pin to enable output, then we can get our 8-bit data in parallel. The MR pin is called Master Reset pin, and it is active low, so it should be set to high since we don't want to reset anything. And this is the real schematic. Please have a look at it. Okay, so here is a code example. So first of all, we have to define three pins on the Arduino first. The launch pin is pin 6, the clock pin is pin 7, and the data pin is pin 5. Also, we need to define a data array that contains 10 digital numbers from 0 to 9. For digital number 1, as you can see, the 8-bit binary code should be 00000110. The last bit matches segment A, and the second last bit matches segment B. Then we have to set all three pins as output. In the main loop, we first give in low voltage onto the launch pin. Then we can use a built-in function called shift out. So basically, it shifts out a byte of data one bit at a time. And there are three parameters. The first one is data pin, the pin to output each bit. The second parameter is the clock pin. This pin will toggle once the data pin has been set to the correct value. In this case, the correct value is 1 or high voltage. The third parameter is called bit order. Actually, you have two options here. MSB first and LSB first. MSB first means the most significant bit first, while LSB first means the least 
significant bit first. MSB is the leftmost bit of the binary number, while LSB is the rightmost bit of a binary number. For example, if you cut the number 7 or digital number 7 here in our data array, if we want to use MSB, then 0 is the first bit to be sent to the shift register. After shifting all 8 bits, we need to set the latch pin to high, and the data in the shift register will be copied into the storage register. Thus, we can get them on the output pins from Q0 to Q7 of the shift register 